Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fully customizable Christmas card in Word. So for this demonstration I'm just using an A4 page which will make an A5 card. So the first thing to do is to turn this page around. So go to Layout, Orientation, Landscape. And now we need to find the centre of this card to be able to fold it but also to be able to create our design. So for that, I'm going to actually go into the headers and the footers. And the reason being, because somebody's asked me this before, is because if I place this line into the main document, there's every chance that when I insert things in like pictures, fonts and graphics, the line will actually move. But if I put it into the headers and footers, it's almost like a piece of tracing paper that's put over the top of the line. So double click at the top of your document, go to insert, shapes, go down to line, then click, hold down your shift key, drag the line down and it will be perfectly vertical. Then go to a line and select a line to center. That now is perfectly lined up in the center of your page. Then you can double click in the middle of the page and that now is in your headers and footers. So I can't click on it, I can't move it, I can't shift it. So it means it'll stay there and at the end we'll take it out so it no longer exists. So now I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to select page break because we will need two pages for the inside and the outside of our card. So for the top page, we'll use the back of the card and the very front of the card. So go to insert pictures, picture from file, select which picture you want and go to insert. I'm actually going to use a picture from the stock images in Word. I'm going to insert Christmas and then I can scroll down and pick from any of these images in Word. I'm going to select this one here and click insert. Now when your image is inserted you won't be able to move it so make sure it's selected. Go to picture format, wrap text in front of text then we can just move it to the top page. So now we've got that on the first page you have to make a consideration here and that is if you have a borderless printer or not. If you don't have a borderless printer, then you're going to get a white line around the outside of your design. So you can move it around until you produce your own white border, therefore you have a little bit more control, or you can just spread it across the page and allow your printer to do that for you. But what you will find is that you will have a white border line around just this side, this side and this side and then you'll actually have it to join the centre here and there won't be a white line here so it might look a little bit odd. So for those who don't have borderless printing you might want to make your own white border around the outside here. Now if you want to make this equal around the entire space then you can look at what room you have available to the left and right and if it's smaller at the bottom and the top, you can just go to crop and then with this black mark, you can just pull it down and press enter. And then you can do that until you've created an equal space around the outside of your card. Now you will be able to go to the align tool and align it to the middle. So it's perfectly aligned top and bottom, but I can't do that for the middle because if I try, it's going to go to the middle of your document. So for the left and the right, you're going to have to use your own eye. So for this one, I'm just going to pull it out to the sides and have a completely borderless card. So again, what's lovely about that line is that this will click onto that line in the headers and footers. So you know there's only half of the card that you've now used up. So now we're going to go to insert word art, click on this one here, then insert your text and then you can move it over here. Now, the only thing with using this particular text, it does have a slight shadow on it. You can keep that or you can remove it if you want to. To do that, go to Format Pane, make sure this is selected and you're on Shape Format. Go to Format Pane, go to Text, and then go to this icon here, which is Text Effects, go to the Shadow, go to the Presets, and then click No Shadow. That's completely up to you. I'm gonna pop the shadow back on but then what I will do, I'm just going to zoom in, is I'm going to show you how you can change the colour 
and type of font. So you can use this section if you want to. You can go to text options and use this one. Go to text fill. You've got solid fill here and you've got the drop down here. And then you can just click any color you like. Alternatively, if you don't see the color you like, go to more fill colors. You've got the color wheel here. You can move this little circle around and your chosen color will appear here, here, and then you can just click OK and you can see it's there. Alternatively, in more colors, some of you will have the option of using this eyedropper tool, which is really clever because I can click, hover over any of these colors, click, and my text will match a color in the image. Now, not all of you have that, so you will need to use the color wheel little circle to match a color out of your image. It's quite important that it does match color in the image, otherwise it will look a little bit off and not particularly cohesive. So then we can go to the home tab and then we can change the font. You've got lots of options and you can be really quite creative with all the various fonts that you've got. I'm going to use this one here and I can increase the size of it by using increase font size or I can use the drop down here or I can just simply place a number in here and click OK. Then I'll just pull it into the middle and then I'm just going to scroll out. Once I have made all my customizations, I can actually copy and paste this text box. So select it, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and just drag out another one. And you can actually, in fact, line these two up because they're both selected. You can go to Shape Format, Align, Align to Center, and it will mean that those two are perfectly lined up. Then you just need to line them up with your center of your image. In the bottom here, I'm just going to double click, select all of my text, Command or Control A, and put in my next piece of text. Once again, you see, can see this is no longer lined up, so we can repeat the process, align to center, then just use my arrow keys to move them back over to the center. I'm using this square here to try to line it up with the center of this tree. Then deselect, perfect. Alternatively, if you want to be a bit more creative, select on the text box, go to text options, and in the fill, you can actually use a gradient fill. So if I click on this one, you've got these little markers here, which you can change the colors. Just make sure it's checked. Go down to the colors. Let's say we changed it to green. You can see the green appears here, but then it gently goes into this orange color. Let's say we wanted to change that to a bright yellow. You can see how it's affected that gradient there. Once again, quite important that you pick the colors from your image, therefore they will be a little more cohesive. So I'm gonna pick the yellow I used earlier and we can choose a darker yellow or I can go to more colors, use the eyedropper tool. Let's go to a deep red, click okay and we'll just change this one to the yellow and you can see how that has made that effect. Now for me, it doesn't quite glow enough. So again, I can select it. I can move this slider over if I want to. So you can see how that means I've got more of the yellow and then I can go to the top one, click solid gradient, and it will immediately copy the last gradient I used. Now I'm going to copy and paste this box again. And then I can use this one for the back of my card. So let's say we use a different logo or you can put your name on it and deselect. Let's reduce the size of this. So go to the home tab, reduce font size tool. And then once again, we can just pop that in the middle again by eye. You can change the color if you want to go to a solid fill color. Perhaps we'll change this to a green. And then we can insert a logo so I'm going to go to insert icons. Let's search for Christmas. Let's put this tree in here. Insert, then go to wrap text in front of text to allow us to move this to here. And then we can go to graphics fill and 
match the color which we've just used. Let's just put this on a different line. Move this up a bit. So select them both, command or control key by selecting both of these boxes. Shape format, align, align to center. Then we can go to the group icon, select group. And now this is all one group. And then we can just pop it in the middle there. So that's the back of our card. And again, you can put anything on the back. You can put images, you can put graphics, you can put large text, small text. You can really play around with it. But I'm going to move down to the inside of the card. And yet again, I'm going to select this one copy and paste it across to the bottom one here. Change your text, so click inside, so you've got the cursor flashing. Command or Control A to select all of the text. Then just reduce the size of the text. So you can go back over to here, which is Format Shape, Text Options, and go to Solid Fill. And again, change the color to green or again, any color you like, or even a gradient color. Again, you can go to the home tab and you can change the font if you like. And once again, you can get really, really creative. So I'm then going to go to shape format, align, align to middle. And then I'm just going to use my arrow keys to just move that over to the middle of the card and deselect. So once you're happy with your card, double click at the top of the page, click on this line here and press delete, double click in the middle and you can see now your line has gone. So when you print this out, you'll be able to fold it and it will all perfectly line up within the halves that you've produced. So all you need to do is to print the first page out and if you don't have a printer that prints double side, then once it's printed out, turn the page over, put it back through the printer, and then you're printing on this side, which will produce this text here. But of course, you can put all additional text in. You can put some icons over here. You can put some banners, all sorts of things. So I'm showing you the techniques to put in the text, but you can put lots more text in, lots more of these icons in, and you can see how many there are. If I come over to stock images, this one, and there's lots more that you can use. But if you want to put in things like hearts, you can see we've got lots of things over here as well. And of course, all of these can be customized in terms of their color and their size. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.